ukulele players and welcome to the Sandy Ute. Today I have an unboxing for the Kala Learn to Play Ukulele Starter Kit in the light mahogany stain. So we're going to unbox this now. I purchased now this instrument from my own website, from my blog spot. I have the links on my blog page and it will take you over to Amazon and you can purchase from there. And I decided, you know, I'm going to buy one myself and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see if we need to tune it up and I'll show you what you can do at home when you unbox a new ukulele. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it with my scissors here. I like to keep the box in case I want to return anything. Um, again, I have the links on my website because I have students every day asking me, what should I buy, what should I buy? So I like to purchase these instrument kits and try them out myself so I can give you a real live view of what you're purchasing and how you can set it up at home. So, pull this out. It looks like they have it packed nice. Protect the instrument. Love my packing. And look inside, you will see just the instrument and a long big box here with lots of packing. So they do pack it well. Now on this Kala starter kit, it did not say what model the Kala Ook was. It just said it was a soprano. So I am interested to see how it looks. It says there is a Kala soprano ukulele, free online lessons, which you have here. Quick start guide, a free tuning app, and a custom logo tote bag. So that's nice. And you can visit their websites as well. So when I open this, I'm finding the ukulele learn to play quick start guide. I'd like to look at that really quick. Okay, this is nice. It has the chords in here and a couple of songs for you. So that's kind of nice. You can keep that in your case. And here is the ukulele bag, which I did not expect that it would be this. It is a drawstring bag, which is kind of nice. It is very thin, so it does not offer a lot of protection. It does have the Kala logo on it. Um, I mean, it seems like it would do a good job as long as you don't need it to pack it with anything else. So you might want to get a hard case for later. Now, once you pull it out of the bag, it is wrapped in another set of padding. And again, I like to leave my packing intact in case I decide to return the instrument. This one I will not be returning. I will either give it to one of my kids, probably for Christmas, or I will give it away to one of you. All right, here's what we have. I'm gonna hold it up closer so you can see the, the rosette. I'm instantly impressed by the rosette. It's very simple, very nice, but it looks, you know, It is a satin finish. I'll hold it up a little bit closer. You can see it's a satin finish. That means it is not a gloss finish on the back. Actually, it looks really nice. There's no arch to the back. It is a flat back. But I'm actually quite impressed with the look of this right off the bat. This package was $59. $59 and it came with the bag. And, you know, I thought it came with a set of strings, but I do not see the strings. It says right here that Kala has a tuning app, so you can download that app if you'd like. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and tune this baby up. So, as you can see, it is not in tune. A lot of times the manufacturers and the distributors will loosen the tension on the neck when they ship because if there is a lot of pressure and poundage between on the neck with the strings, so they want to loosen that during shipping. They don't always do that, and depending on the quality of the instrument, uh, sometimes you don't want to because you can warp the neck. So I'm going to go ahead and tune this ukulele up and see what it sounds like when we play it. And when you're using an 
tuner on an app at home. You want to make sure that you either use an existing instrument to start tuning it or maybe the piano or something like that because the strings are going to be far enough down that you probably won't hit the register on the app. Now, so I use my own ukulele to get it close to the G and then I'm going to go ahead and tune that baby in. This one's pretty close. So that's my G. Don't be afraid to stretch those out. Tune them up. One thing that you'll realize with this type of an instrument, with the nylon strings, and also with the nylon strings on a classical guitar, is that they will really stretch when you first pull them out of the case, when you've got it shipped to you, or when you're, you know, putting on a new set of strings, they'll really stretch. So you'll want to play it quite a bit the first day, and get it stretched out. for you. you when you play that A string, if you come up to the second string and play in the fifth fret, that note is an A as well. So then you can hear the relationship and they should be in tune to each other. And then as you go down the fretboard, play the second string open, which is your E, then play on the fourth fret in the third string. They should match as well. So that would be your C. All right, so play along with me if you have a new instrument. We have our G. I'm going to tune that up a little bit more. C, E, and then to our A. And I really like bluegrass music, so I'm going to play a little bluegrass tune and from the start. So I'm going to look inside here. This is the Kala-LTP-S and I am assuming that the S stands for the soprano. So if you look in there closely, not sure if you can see that. You can see the model number inside on a tag and then it has the Kala website. This model is made in China. My own personal ook is handmade in Hawaii which I love. But I do understand that not everybody can get a handmade instrument from Hawaii. So I'm liking this instrument right from the start. I can see there's two pieces of wood on the back of the neck. They've got that joint on the back of the neck. See right there, you can see that round joint. That, uh, I, I don't know if that holds up or if it breaks off with, through the years. I don't know, you'll have to play it and see. Here's a C major scale, sounds good to me, sounds in tune. And I like to go up the board and use a walk the board. It actually has pretty good tone. But already you can hear that it's gone out of tune, so you'd want to go ahead and stretch those strings out how I like to stretch them out and then play to your tuner again see if you can get back back in tune again put our G on the C went a little flat stretched out to the E that is stretched out as well and then up to the A so if you feel like when you open up a new instrument that it's really out of tune and you're having a hard time getting it into tune, you do have to play it quite a bit. So go ahead and play the walk the board. Play any scales that you know. Play a couple of songs, strum some chords. And 
work with those strings and then go ahead and tune it again and continuously work through so another quick look at the Kala starter hoop with the mahogany top from this angle you can see the tag in here a little bit better now it has the model number and the website as you go up the fretboard the fret wires are gold on this instrument which i haven't seen too much but they are gold um, and then of course there's the headstock and i'll flip it over and show you the back of the headstock the machine heads there's the two-piece joint from the headstock to the neck and then the mahogany satin back which i actually really like the look of this instrument and then here's the gig bag again and it's a really thin mesh type of material so it will not hold up for a long time you might want to get a hard case with it but it's kind of nice you know to haul, haul your instrument around somewhere somewhere close you know, somewhere where you're not going to have to worry about anyone putting anything on it. You should hold up there, and then of course you have the kitty book with just a few chords in there, and that's kind of nice as well. So this is the Kala Learn to Play Starter Ukulele Kit with the drawstring gig bag. And it does act like a backpack, so that is kind of nice. You might want to pick up a hard case later. And then it does have a little pamphlet shows you some chords and things as well so you know i'm actually quite impressed with this this might work out for a nice birthday gift for a christmas present so anyway go to the website www.thesandyuke.com click through the tabs go over to shop for ukuleles and go through my links down there this is the kala learn to play starter kit if you click on that link, it will take you to Amazon. I am not personally selling this, but this will teach you, this will take you the link over to Amazon and then you can purchase that. Or you can look through Amazon and see some other instruments that you might want to play. I also have links for baritone ukuleles. I'll be unboxing one of those soon. And very shortly, I will be giving away a Kala ukulele to those of you who have joined me on Patreon. So you can find me on Patreon now at the Sandy, patreon.com slash the Sandy Uke. And also the website, www.sandyuke.com. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. And when you subscribe to the website, I will be sending out other information and videos and emails to you as well. Go ahead and join me on Patreon so that you can win a Kala ukulele soon.